Hi everyone, I am excited to see all of you again. For those of you who have been following my channel for some time now, I want to say I'm really grateful for the love and then the support that all of you have shown me over the years. Also, for those who are new to the channel, I want to say a big welcome to you and um, consider subscribing. And so to say a little about myself, my name is Dr. Aklo. I'm originally from Ghana and I am an international medical graduate and currently I am a resident doctor or a resident physician in the United States. And so on this channel, um, I make videos to guide people who want to also come and practice in the United States. So generally my videos are for IMGs. And so um, let's dive straight into the content for this video. Now, currently, um, if I look at just the previous March uh, cycle, that is the application for residency sports in the United States, um, you will realize that over 48,000 people submitted applications for residency sports in the United States. And out of this 48,000, over 35,000 people got residency sports like these people got residency positions and currently they are in training i was one of those uh, thirty-five thousand um, people who marched into uh, residency sports um, in the united states now this number is and there there is an increase of about uh, 500 uh, people from the previous year of 2022 so if this continues, that tells you that there, there are great amounts of um, IMGs who are coming to the U.S. to come and practice. So uh, if you are someone who is also interested, this is the right place for you to be. Um, just subscribe to this channel and um, continue to follow um, as I make videos to guide you to, uh, to become successful like I've done for uh, so many uh, people. Now. Um, out of these um, 48,000 people who applied for residency sports, 20,000 of those people are U.S. AMGs. Um, th these are the AMGs from the U.S. who um, trained within uh, the borders of the U.S. And about 19,000 of those people matched into the residency sports that um, they uh, applied for. There are also several... Um, hospitals and then um, in that sense I'll name them programs. Programs are uh, residency, uh, uh, residents like hospitals that have accepted to train um, residents uh, or doctors to become um, independent uh, practitioners of the medical uh, profession. So in the U.S. there are over 6,000 of these programs and out of these 6,000, about 5,500 of these programs got filled uh, with um, people who applied. But um, the rest that did not get filled, uh, probably some of them were deregulated or um, they did not um, get um, filled in the sense that if, let's say, 20 people applied, probably um, they only picked about uh, 19 people or maybe... Uh, they didn't get um, all the people that uh, they wanted to match into those programs. So there are several programs that people can um, apply to. So if you are interested in walking this journey, again, this is the right place for you. So now um, in this um, video series, uh, what I want to do is um, I want to take time to guide you um, on how to like start your journey and end up in residency. So say like you are fresh, you are in a medical school, you've graduated and you are working in a foreign country and you've always had interest in um, writing the US MLE. In, on this channel, I'm going to guide you um, straight from this very video up to the series of videos that I'll be doing in the future. So kindly subscribe and um, continue to follow my channel as I try to post videos every week and um, to um, help you with the journey. So usually the journey starts from application for um, your ECFMG, which is the regulatory body uh, for the IMG. So application for ECFMG certification, uh, taking the step one, you know, taking step two, taking step three, uh, getting visa and coming to match into 
uh, residences, uh, sports in the U.S. So I will take you through whatever details that are involved in each of the steps that I have mentioned uh, before. But before then, I want to tell you some important reasons why I personally chose to train in the United States. So um, briefly, um, I originally trained in uh, Herbie North University, which is found um, in China. That's where I trained. Um, I did my five years program there. And then my final year, I did it in, in my home country, Ghana, making six years. Now, after that, um, after that, um, I moved to the U.S. where I gained some clinical experience, like following some doctors who also taught me and exposed me to the U.S. clinical system. And at the same time, I spent more of my time studying at home and I did not have to join any other uh, medical um, medical school in the United States. But I studied by myself, which most people do by themselves and i know this process can be very very difficult and can be discouraging that is why i'm taking this time especially when you don't have any guide from your um your medical school uh, like the amgs usually have they have uh, structures in place that they follow already so they don't have to struggle when applying for uh, residency sports like the imgs um, do so um, some of the reasons why i chose to uh, work in the united states after my medical school is that um, there's a high quality of training in a, in, a, in a practice environment that you find yourself like there is so much high standards um, over here that they set and uh, there are a lot of um, other countries that look up to the US so why don't you come to the, the original source of all the information that we get all the standards that are set so that is one of the reasons why I decided to come to the US for that high standard level of training and also environment to um, work um, in now, there is a predictable career path that you can choose um, to work when you are in the U.S. And when I look um, at, like, there are several career paths, apart from, like, um, programs that you can um, match into, apart from um, um, fields or specialties that you can match into, and there are several subspecialties that you can do, and getting those just needs some um, consistency and some hard work for you to uh, get those and there is uh, um, there is um, there's assurance that you can easily get those um, those programs that you want or those specialties that you want and so that is one of the reasons and you can also finish and you don't want to subspecialize so um, that is also up to you you don't have to necessarily subspecialize like if you do internal medicine, you can do internal medicine in primary care, you can do internal medicine, and um, you don't want to subspecialize into GI, into nephrology. So, so uh, if you don't want to subspecialize, it's, um, it's, it's also um, up to um, you um, yourself. But there are several, several um, um, career um, paths that you can take. Now, there is a flexibility in the career structure. Um, because when I look, um, you can actually uh, negotiate um, your own schedule with the hospital that you're going to work with. Unlike um, several other countries where the hospital has like a fixed schedule for you because it's the government that is um, going to um, recruit you or employ you. So you don't have a say when it comes to your career, uh, your schedule. But in the U.S., there is this kind of structure that is more flexible. Um, and then that, that, that is really remarkable um, for me. Um, also, one of the reasons is that there is an opportunity for board certification that is recognized like worldwide so that if you have um, board certification from America, then you know that when you go to every country, it is recognized because of the high standard of training um, that is here in the U.S. So um, this is one of the reasons. And um, what, another reason why I chose um, this is that um, after uh, completing a U.S. residency, um, um, like um, you have the chance to get a job and completing U.S. residency is virtually like almost like always the path to secure um, a job um, as a doctor in 
the US. There are, there are other things that you can also do if you don't go into residency, but those are limited. So um, these are some of the reasons why I want to like train in the US, but if you also have your reason, I know there are a thousand reasons. If we ask a thousand different people, they will tell us different reasons. Someone may, might say it's because of their family somebody might say because of immigration someone might say they just want to live in a world in a first world country so um people have different reasons so um if your reason is worth working for and going through all this hard work that is um in order to achieve it then i will say you should begin your journey now if you haven't started yet and if you have also started then i'll say continue with um your journey and you will be smiling one day <laughs> like me um i know it's it's hard i know it's tough but if you stay consistent and you stay focused you can do it so i'll see you in the next video subscribe and Keep looking out for the next video. Bye.